In a major advance, Ukrainian troops have pushed into the southern Kyrgyzstan region another 20 miles, according to Russian military bloggers. It comes a day after Ukrainian troops forced the Russian military's front line there to collapse. This war has entered in a new phase. Ukrainian soldiers celebrating the liberation of towns and villages along the way, tearing down Russian flags, some using them to wipe their feet. The governor of Kyrgyzstan telling ABC News Ukrainian troops are less than 35 miles from the regional capital. Military experts saying taking that city would deal a huge blow to Russian President Vladimir Putin's entire military operation. Despite that, today, Putin signed laws finalizing the annexations of four Ukrainian regions into Russia, a move rejected by the United States and Ukraine and in defiance of international law. In Luhansk, the governor posting on social media that the deoccupation of the area from the Russian army has started saying several settlements there have already been recaptured. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky vowing to present a draft resolution to the United Nations, forcing Putin to pay reparations for the war. It's only a matter of time, he says, before we oust the occupier from all our land. The U.S. is pledging another $625 million in military assistance, including four HIMAR rocket systems and howitzer artillery launchers, which have proven highly effective on the battlefield against the Russians. Meanwhile, Russia met with OPEC leaders Wednesday, agreeing to cut 2 million barrels a day in oil production to raise prices, benefiting Russia while hurting the U.S. and Western nations. M1, ABC News, Washington.